Defense authorization bill are exceedingly important in the context of a wide range of current arms control activities. Funding cuts or restrictions on SDI or our strategic modernization program, either one of those, or both of them, run the risk, I think, of reducing prospects for securing an arms control agreement. I think it should be obvious to everyone that you know, that's no way. We've got them apparently moving our way on the arms control actual reductions. And I hope you'll remind your colleagues that SDI and strategic modernization are in indispensable elements of our defense effort. To cut them further, to tie our hands while the Soviets run free, I think is just an unacceptable situation. And I thank you, the Senate, for holding the Senate for holding the line yesterday by a rather narrow vote for even 50 to 49. And I hope that you're honest. House colleagues will be as successful. Well, I haven't disclosed the contents of my letter to General Secretary Gorbachev. I'd like to correct several inaccuracies that keep being repeated in the press. Whoever has been giving them information is not giving true information. This was a thing that resulted in the Geneva talks in which Gorbachev and I agreed to set up an area where we could have just communications with each other. And so he has observed that with his letter to us, and I'm observing it with our letter back. But some of the errors that have been appearing in the press, I know, concern some of you about them. But I have decided to seek a grand compromise to delay or trade away SDI in return for the rest to reduce our offensive forces for a cut Soviet forces. Well, that is not the case. SDI is not a bargaining chip. And I have not proposed any delay in the progress of SDI research. All this talk has to do with the fact that we know that this, before we're to the point of uh, anything of certain, certain uh, final testings and deployment and so forth, it's got to be at least five years. And so we haven't set a five-year limit or anything in what we're doing. This is just a statement of where, where we are. Perhaps motivated by these press reports, some of you have urged me to proceed now with deployment of limited strategic defenses. Well, let me let me uh, address that issue. SDI has produced dramatic and encouraging results, particularly in interceptor technologies like the homing overlay experiment of the Ares interceptor. However, now to go ahead and build an effective ballistic missile defense when it meets our criteria, we have to have an entire system that makes sense. And even for ground-based systems now with traditional interceptors, we don't have the sensors that see and identify the targets and the battle management systems that allow the defenses to function effectively. We're proceeding as fast as we can toward developing this full range of technologies. But we see <coughs> now to deploy systems of limited effectiveness would divert limited funds delay our main research and would tend eventually to raise support for the program which can eliminate the threat of ballistic missiles. Now, I'm determined to move SDI ahead on schedule to the point at which the next president of Congress will be able to make fully informed decisions on deployment. But let there be no doubt we are not in any way foregoing deployment of effective defenses. What we are doing is addressing some stated Soviet concerns 
while providing a path for the future. Now, the simple truth is, SDI will be deployed. What we're talking about here is going forward with the research, which uh, we are able to do under the ABM tree without endangering that, or uh, even though we know that they have, in our opinion, violated the treaty themselves. To abrogate that treaty right now, our own military chief have told us, would put us at a tremendous disadvantage because they're ready. They've got assembly lines working. And they could get a tremendous lead that we would have, that we could not match in trying to rev up or to do this at that time. Now, and it would interfere with the SDI. Thing. The whole purpose from the beginning of SDI is to make nuclear weapons obsolete. And what we've, I've had in mind from the very beginning is that when it comes to the point of deployment, then see if we cannot, with that and with the promise of a sharing of deployment of such a thing, <coughs> our gas masks, uh, after we try to treat it, there won't be any more gas awards, that we would do that, but the, the premise would be everyone would have to give up their missiles in order for us to do that. If that is not true, and we have developed such a system, and they refuse to go along with such a thing, yes, then there would be unilateral deployment of the system. We're not developing a system that at some point in this development say to them, we'll stop it and give up now uh, if you will do away with some of your, your nuclear missiles. No. This, I think, SDI is, I think, the most promising thing of the century to have a system that can actually take this most dangerous weapon, the only one I know in world history that has never led to a defensive system. Every weapon has produced a, a counter defense against it. Uh, this, I think, can be the means of eliminating the threat of this nuclear war, and that's going to be our goal all the way. So the floor is open. Mr. President. Well, Thank you, sir. Now, why don't you and I go over those two chairs? <laughs> Testing, testing. Sure enough. How are you, sir? Good to see you. Bye. Thank you. Mr. President George Gabriel, Mr. President of AHEPA. Hello. Great to see you. Great to be here.
Mr. President, new man of shortage. Mr. President, Pittsburgh. My distinguished Mr. President, are you set up? That's fine. You're looking well. I feel good. Let's change the constitution. <laughs> Mr. President, John Plumides, the next president of the yeah, right. Mr. President, it's a pleasure to see you. I see, sir. And you know this, you know this one here. I know this <laughs> yeah. one here. Well, I accepted this award on your behalf. They want somehow they wanted the real thing, so that's why we're here. <laughs> why don't we have y'all sit down? Well, well, I want to thank you all very much. Mr. President, you want to? Yeah. Want to make the president? I know I've. This is our greatest. Yeah. I know. It goes to the greatest president. I was privileged to be here with you to present to you a hundred thousand dollar check. Yeah. It's actually a hundred dollar check. Mm -hmm. The first step is going to be a really check of this magnitude to you. Yes. And so it's quite an honor to you. You are most gracious. Listen, I'm grateful to all of you because I know the very many charitable things that you do both here and in Greece and, uh, and the very George Jefferson relationship between us. This make a, a, uh, a real shillelagh, this one. Uh, this is the Socratic Award. Uh, it is the highest award presented by the Order of Ahapa to any individual uh, in the United States. And uh, this award symbolizes the philosophy of Socrates, the Hellenic ideal of man striving for excellence. And we're pleased to present you this award to you, Mr. President, because the Order of Ahapa, as far as we believe, that you have achieved the pinnacle of excellence in leadership for the common good. And we're honored and privileged to present this award to you. Well, I am honored to receive it and appreciate very much what you just said. I, I know there must be a few scholastics, teachers in my background, who are rolling over <laughs> in distress that I should be associated with something. One thing I can say, it's very heavy. It's <laughs> <laughs> a solid uh, marble, so it's All quite right. heavy. If you want to hold it, Mr. President. Good morning. Well, I am most honored by this. Thank you all very much. I know that it was presented once, but I'm glad now to get it. Uh, like it is, <laughs> you will be seeing in three weeks a three proclamation, weeks. an inscribed proclamation fully framed, which will uh, outline the entire event and uh, presenting this award to you. It takes three weeks to prepare. It takes three weeks to prepare the ah, inscribed proclamation. You will be getting this. Well, well, thank you. Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. My pleasure. Mr. President. Thank you very Thank much. You. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Appreciate it. And even though you've won, gotten the award, the Socrates Award, you do not have to drink a cup of hemlock now. <laughs> <laughs> you did a good job. Here's <laughs> 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 a speaker at the Congressional Banquet, and he put a big hit for leading. We're right on it. You said the right men, Mr. President. You said the right men. <laughs> did a great job. Hang in there. Good to see you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. President. Yeah, this thing weighs about 50 minutes of your last visit in Germany. Oh, yes, thank I you. We have fond memories. Uh, we Mr. do, President. very much so. And to Mrs. Raymond. Yes, thank you very much. Mr. President, Mr. Tui Hello, Mr. President. Good to see you. Nice to see you. Thank you very much. Would you like to have us for a picture? Go over and sit in these chairs and one that. Thank you. 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 Thank one of you here and one of you over here. Yeah. Certainly. All right, thank you. Uh, regards from your ambassador to Bonn, Mr. Richard Burke. Yes. Well, it says his warmest regards. Well, I know that they're very happy over there and enjoying themselves very much. And warmest regards from Mrs. Schwinger. Uh, That's Mrs. Schwinger's widow. Best regards. Yes. Well, please give mine to her. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, people in Germany uh, like you very much and very fond of you. Well, I'm pleased to hear that. A lot of them wonder how you keep, keep so fit all the time. <laughs> well, a little workout. We've got a gym upstairs there where I go home in the afternoon after being down here and do a little workout. And then I've always believed in the old cavalry saying that the 
There's nothing so good for the inside of a man as the outside of a horse. So everybody <laughs> can get on a horse. That's been my sport for a good many years. We admire very much, Mr. President, you have fired against the drug problem. Oh, well, we're, we're very hopeful that uh, we can, some of our friends abroad, uh, I know I talked to uh, Chancellor Cole about it, and not so that we can kind of get this battle uh, going on a wider basis than just our own country. We wish you had a successful summit with Mr. Gorbachev. Well, and I hope you will mention the wall to him, the Berlin Wall. Oh, yes. Yes, that, uh, I have gone through that wall on the other side, and, you know, it was a very funny thing. Yeah. The first time, and the only time through there, and there we went through, and just on the other side there's a big department store, and a large parking lot around it. And just as we came within view of that, the East German police were rousting the fellow out of the middle of that uh, parking lot and grabbing him and hustling him away and who knows for what reason. Just <laughs> I thought it was kind of a contrast between the two sides yeah. of, the, of the wall. Very significant. Um, People ask, <coughs> I'm sorry, just going to say, Mr. President, you have about four other oh, meetings coming Mr. Brin, thank you. Well, listen, thank you. It's good to see you. I always wanted to try your famous jelly bean. Help yourself. <laughs> thank you very much. Either a Stein. Is a German Stein? Yeah. Yeah. Take a handful there. Thank you very much. You sure that's good to do? Mm. I know why you like him now. <laughs> I've never met anyone who doesn't like him. <laughs> Do you want to try it, Oh, yes, that's right. <laughs> Thank you. All right. All right. Well, Thank you. Best of luck, Mrs. I shall. Thank you very much. Again. Thank you. Thank you. Book. I can't wait to look oh, through it. Will you, you come to Germany soon again? I hope I can. Bye, Bye. Thank you. And there were 10,000 German teenagers this yeah. finished without the word. Suddenly, we're standing here listening to 10,000 German teenagers singing the national, our national anthem in our language. Yeah. That was a great event site, great speech, everything was outstanding. President Pepperino? Yes, hello President, there. how are you doing? Just it's fine. nice to meet you. Well, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> Good with my daughter, Miranda. Hello. Hi. I'm my father, father, Mr. Hello. McCoy. I see you. Yeah. And my husband, Randy. Mr. President, we ought to gather around here and have a family picture. Sure. sure. And she'll come over to the other side. One of you also can come over here. And, okay. Very good. Okay. Now, you know it's kind of hard for California to be smiling knowing that you're going to Florida. <laughs> 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 okay. A few souvenirs. A tie bar shirt. Oh, wow. A charm. Cuffing. Like, yeah, a little souvenir. You don't want you to forget it. Oh, no, don't worry. <laughs> no trouble there. <laughs> well, oh, it's my pleasure, Mr. President. Especially, especially to you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President, nice to meet you. Goodbye. Bye bye. Thanks again, Mr. President. Thank you. President, you know, Doug Fultz. Yes, yes hello. sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Again. Pleasure, sir. Would you, sir? Well, thank you. appreciate everything that you've done. Good yes, luck to you. Thank you, sir. A little souvenir. Well, thank you very much, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. Leading us 
to go back to become a school teacher. Right. Well, <laughs> she her husband Jack. Right. Works, he also uh, works for the Secret Service. Uh -huh. yeah. Let's get a family picture. Okay. <laughs> Come greet you like this. This is great. Thank you very much. Take care. Pleasure. Bye. God bless. Thank you. There it is. I sure do. Mr. Resident, how are you? No. I know you're not going far, but you know, still, uh, you're going. Just across. So this is my son, Brian. This is my wife, Sandy. Hello there. This is Darren. Darren. Oh. Matthew. Yeah. Matthew. This is my wife, sister, Tiffany. Hi. Hello there. Excuse me, can you stand here? Say hi. Hi. I know we all get a good camera, all right? And the picture. Maybe one of you come over here. Okay. You fellas down in front there. Mm -hmm. Standing. <laughs> Just with us and Tiffany. Sure. You can drag her out.